April. I'ma let you finish, but May is one of the best months of all time. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 anticipated releases of May 2017. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're taking a look at new releases in the realms of movies, music, and video games, as well as premieres of new TV series and new seasons of ongoing series. The show creator says Dev and Ravi are perfect. Then this executive Joan writes, totally agree, think we just found our first two buddies. Number 10, House of Cards Season 5. Many would argue that House of Cards is as relevant as ever, especially since fiction has seemingly become reality. Premiering on Netflix just after Memorial Day, Season 5 will pick up where we last left the Underwoods. Although the terrorist group Ico might look like America's greatest threat, Frank and Claire are the ones that truly make the terror. We don't submit to terror. We make the terror. With a presidential election and a potential war on the horizon, this could very well be the most explosive season yet. Number 9, The Wizard of Lies. When it comes to television movies, no network does it better than HBO. From Oscar-winning director Barry Levinson, The Wizard of Lies depicts the true story of Bernie Madoff, a businessman who orchestrated the biggest Ponzi scheme in US history. The legendary Robert De Niro stars as the famous fraudster, while Michelle Pfeiffer plays his wife, Ruth Madoff. With unparalleled talent in front of and behind the camera, we'd be shocked if this film didn't score a few Emmy nominations. We're here to find out if there's an innocent explanation. There is no innocent explanation. Number 8, Prey. Prey 2 sadly never saw the light of day, but Arkane's reimagining of the 2006 original sounds like a promising alternative. This first-person shooter envisions a reality where John F. Kennedy survived his assassination attempt, amounting to an advanced space program in the future. Once testing starts, there's no going back. Assuming the role of Morgan Yu, the player must navigate through a space station where deadly aliens run amok. Drawing comparison to System Shock and various Metroidvania games, Prey may offer a fresh start for this franchise. Number 7, Baywatch. I get it. You're big, Sasquatch. I'm fast. Whoa! Ah! Shit, I'm touching. You suck. Since the Baywatch television series was a guilty pleasure at best, you wouldn't think a big screen reboot would be anything to get excited about. This action comedy puts a fresh spin on the franchise, however. We're the heart and soul of this very beach. With the director of Horrible Bosses at the helm, the film stars Dwayne Johnson and Zac Efron as a couple of sexy lifeguards that uncover a criminal plot. Taking a satirical approach to the campy source material, Baywatch just might be the next 21 Jump Street. What do your balls sound like three-year-old girls? I don't know, man. That's just how they talk. But they're wise. Number 6, Injustice 2. Taking a page from Mortal Kombat, Injustice Gods Among Us was the fighting game that DC fans had been waiting for. The sequel takes place five years after its predecessor, as Batman attempts to clean up the mess Superman's regime left behind. Learning. Hunting. However, this becomes increasingly difficult thanks to Brainiac and a villainous society known as, well, the Society. With new threats, new playable characters, and a new loot dropping system, Injustice 2 should be another first-rate brawler, assuming it avoids any Martha moments. Save Martha! Number 5, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Centering on a quest for the Trident of Poseidon, the fifth Pirates of the Caribbean movie will bring Captain Jack Sparrow, Hector Barbosa, and Will Turner back on board. The film also includes a few newcomers, including Javier Bardem as the ghost pirate Armando Salazar. Find Sparrow for me and relay a message from Capitan Salazar. The filmmakers are reportedly returning to the franchise's beginnings, aiming to recapture what made the first film a success. Anna Maria. For all those reasons and more, Michael Bolton isn't the only one looking forward to this swashbuckling sequel. You complete me! Yeah. Number 4, Master of None, Season 2. Several great shows are returning to Netflix this month, but the second season of this Emmy-winning comedy has us the most excited. Season 1 received universal praise for its sharp commentary on racial stereotypes, relationships, and various first world problems. He's at the cabin, he says, uh, come, great party, vibe, A-, minus. girls, A-, minus. overall, A-. minus. Glad he broke it down into three categories. At the center of everything is Aziz Ansari as Dev Shaw, a 30-something actor trying to make it in New York City. Whatever Ansari and co-creator Alan Yang have in store for us this season, we can expect some masterful comedy.
Number 3. Alien Covenant Taking place 10 years after Prometheus, the latest Alien prequel will primarily shift focus to a new cast of characters. This includes Catherine Waterston as a terraforming expert named Daniels and Michael Fassbender as Walter, an advanced version of the android David. We'll also be introduced to a new type of alien creature, known as a Neomorph. While there's plenty of new blood to go around, Alien Covenant should remain true to the franchise's roots, with director Ridley Scott returning. Number 2. Twin Peaks Of all the acclaimed shows that have been brought back from the dead, Twin Peaks has perhaps generated the most hype. That's largely because audiences aren't entirely sure what to expect from this Showtime limited series. What we do know for sure is that Kyle MacLachlan's Dale Cooper is coming back to Twin Peaks after 25 long years. That's reason enough to send our anticipation through the roof. So grab a box of donuts, bake a cherry pie, and brew a pot of coffee. That was a tuna fish sandwich on whole wheat, slice of cherry pie, and a cup of coffee. Damn good food. Number 1. Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. Is that a rifle? You don't know what a rifle looks like? Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 promises to kick off the summer movie season in a big way. This follow-up to the 2014 hit seemingly has all the right ingredients to deliver a stellar blockbuster. Oh, no, it's a symbol. This is, this is a symbol for you slicing his throat. Another awesome mixtape? Check. Palm Clementiev as Mantis? Check. Baby Groot looking adorable and kicking ass? Double check. Plus, you've got Sylvester Stallone as a Nova Corps member and Kurt Russell playing Star-Lord's father. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Does this mean we're finally getting a Tango and Cash reunion? What are you doing? <sighs> Buying time. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.